how do you get more fit when you have no time? I get it, life gets busy, your days get ahead of you, and you realize that scheduling in a workout typically seems impossible some weeks because you have so much to do and so little time. Ah, uh, so how can you implement some habits daily um, when you're crunched for time, you can't make it to the gym, but you know you need to get your body moving and the more and more days you go without moving, you just feel, you know, more tired and you're kind of just beating, your, beating yourself up that you can't find enough time. And how can all these other people who have kids and are busy lives still make it to the gym? So I wanted to share a secret on how you can add 15 minutes of movement in your day no matter how busy you are. So you may be thinking to yourself like, then I don't have 15 minutes some days. I don't even have time to eat some days. I get it, I hear these excuses all the time. Well, um, we already spoke about, you know, how you can eat when you're crunched for time. We spoke about this during, in the beginning of the week, hey, there's always grab and go options. You can always squeeze in food. So now let's talk about how we can get our body to move. Because with this simple trick, you'll be able to add in 15 minutes of movement no matter where you are and you don't need any equipment. Like I'm gonna do it in this little outfit, like nothing. My, just hang my hang around clothes. So five minutes is all you need. You may be confused, like, you know, you just said 15 minutes of exercise, and now you're talking about five minutes. So hear me out. So I want you to incorporate five minutes of movement before you start your day. So you can wake up five minutes earlier if you have to, because I promise you, you can commit to five minutes. We know the five minute rule by now. So I'll do a demonstration at the end of this video of what kind of exercise you can do in five minutes. But for now, I just need you to commit to five minutes of movement in the morning before you start your day. So this does a few things. So this will help you get more energized in the morning. It'll give you a nice mental clarity boost. Um, it'll boost your mood, boost your metabolism first thing in the morning. So getting up in the morning and moving right away does have some benefits. And again, it's only five minutes, so you can literally do this anywhere. And you don't need to worry about having all this equipment and you needing a home gym. You just need yourself. So secondly, I want you to commit to five minutes later on in your day, preferably on your lunch. Um, but if you don't have time around your lunch, then you can pick any time, uh, whether it's before dinner or when you bring your kids to their sports, any time that makes sense later on in the day. So afternoon on, lunchtime on. So for easy purposes, let's say you work in a building, you work in a school, you work in an office, and you have your lunch. So I want you to scratch out five minutes to go for a walk. Five minutes, that's it. So you can do this in your school building, you can walk around your halls, because I do know teachers that do that. Um, you can take the stairs for five minutes. Um, you can go for a five minute walk around your building, it, building if you live somewhere that has nice weather, of course. In New York, some people might not wanna do that, so I get it. So <laughs> you can find five minutes somewhere to go for a five minute walk. So we all have five minutes. You aren't gonna be breaking a sweat, so don't worry about all that. You just need to commit to a five minute walk around your lunchtime or sometime during the afternoon. So not only does this give you movement in your day, um, especially if you've been sitting all day and if you have a desk job, but this will also help with your energy in the middle of the day. It'll help you focus. It'll help you reboot for the second half of your day because some of us struggle still with that 2 p.m. or that 3 p.m. slump. So this will actually prevent that and kind of get a nice little second wind. So if you have another, if you have a high stress job, this is also super helpful because then you'll be able to kind of go for a walk and get in a calm state, which is always a win-win. So there you have it. You have two simple ways to get in five minutes of movement in the morning, five minutes of movement at lunch. So you're already at 10 minutes on the day. And I'm sure you can agree that both of those tasks seem pretty doable. It's like, okay, dang, I don't really have that much time, but I definitely could scratch five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the afternoon. You can do it. I don't care how busy you are. You can scratch out five minutes. So lastly is when you're home 
and you're winding down for the night. So before you go to bed or after you're finished with dinner and you clean the dishes, you know, you get things in order for the next day. Now you just need to find five more minutes. So these five minutes we're actually going to do together. Uh, I'm actually going to show you five exercises you can do for the five minutes with no equipment. You don't need anything other than yourself again, and you can choose when you want to do this. So once it's completed, um, once you complete that at the end of your day, you have now successfully incorporated 15 minutes of movement to your day. You didn't go to the gym. You didn't need a fancy gym at home. You were able to incorporate 15 minutes of movement to your day by simply adding five in the morning, five in the afternoon, and five at night. And you can do it anywhere. Um, anyone can do this. It's really that simple. You don't have to beat yourself up whenever you are crunched for time and you can't get to the gym. To the gym. Uh, we can always meet somewhere in the middle. We could always find a solution. There's always something we can do to put ourselves in a better situation. We just have to think outside the box every once in a while. So let's get started. I wanted to exercise with you for the five minutes just to show you how easy this is where you can do it anywhere. Um, oops, okay. Got it, okay, so we're going to do this. And again, you can choose to do this in the morning, lunch, and at night, before or after, um, so immediately after dinner or right before bed. Um, and at night, we're going to focus on more of like a strength circuit, nothing super high intensity cardio, nothing like that. So five minutes begins now, and we're going to do 30 seconds of, sorry. At least you guys are getting ready to, and I'm giving you some time to get off your couch or your chair or kitchen table, wherever you are because my watch is delayed. Okay, we're going to do 30 seconds of, okay. Okay, 30 seconds of air squats start, hold on. In 10. Five, four, Three, two, one. Air squats. I did legs yesterday. Oh boy. Oh boy. If you're someone who cannot do squats, you can always get a chair and do that as a modified version. So you're just sitting on the chair and standing back up. And we're done. Three, two, one. And then we're gonna take a 30 second break. And then we're gonna go into push ups. So I'm gonna change this so you could see me on the bottom here. Okay, good. Again, if you can't do push ups, you can use the chair for assistance. Make sure it's not a wobbly chair like mine on a slippery floor. Okay, and 30 seconds of push-ups. Can you see me? Yes, you can. If you have to take a break, that's okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Woo! Okay. Rest for 30 seconds. And you can kind of like feel your body is like getting some movement. My heart rate's up a little bit. And we are going to do glute bridges. So no jumping, nothing too high intensity, all basic movements. And three, two, one. Make sure you're pushing off from your heels. 
If you have resistant bands, you can add those. Five more seconds. Okay, and we're done. Look at that. We're gonna do 30 second break. And we're gonna do some standing crunches. I don't even have music on and I'm dancing. I literally dance like this in between my sets at the gym, people watch. It's all good. Standing crunch is gonna look like this. And we're gonna alternate in three, two, one. And 10 more seconds. And we're finished. Sorry, I can't look at my watch. And 30 second break and we're gonna be at five minutes. We're gonna end with a 30 second plank hold. And that's it. We got five minutes of movement in. Quick and simple. In 10 seconds, we're gonna do a plank hold for 30 seconds. You could do it on your knees. You could do it in a push-up position. I'm gonna do it in a push-up position. Let's go. Oh, whoa, whoa. hold on. There was a heater pointing at my face. That would have been a hot one. Okay, let's do this. If you need, you could come down and use this. If it's your first time doing a plank, you could go on your knees. Multiple different variations. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one. And there you have it. Five minutes. You can do that in the morning and you can do that at night. During the day, like I mentioned, all you need is a five minute walk. Um, and if you wanna get your body moving a little bit in the morning, you could add a little bit of uh, cardio, maybe like some jumping jacks. Um, you could do some lunges, but you wanna make sure that you're not overcomplicating it. You're just making sure you're getting your body to move. That's the most important thing. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you start applying this uh, way of moving in your day when you're crunched for time. And I hope you can see the, the pattern in the five minutes, like the five minute rule. We spoke about this a few weeks ago. The five minute rule is powerful. It can really help you stop procrastinating, get more things done, and even when you're crunched for time, you could always find a way to do things, be more productive, be more effective. So before we go, I want to invite you to my free seven day challenge. My seven day challenge is really designed to help you really start making the right choices towards a healthier lifestyle without flipping your entire life upside down. It is for anyone. Anyone can benefit, whether you're a beginner, an intermediate, you're advanced because it really teaches you the basic principles that you need to live a healthy lifestyle. So in the seven days, you'll be able to learn the principles that help you uh, burn fat, reduce your bloat, fire up your metabolism. I added a ton of value in my seven day guide. So you'll be able to access free recipes, free workouts as a bonus. I have my gut health ebook in there for anyone who has gut health imbalances that wants to start making um, more better choices to get their gut health in a good position. And at the end of it, because I always get this question like, hey, Danae, what supplements should I take? Or what supplements do you recommend? I actually made a supplement guide 
to really coach you on, you know, what are supplements used for? Why do people take them? And to really help you not waste money on the wrong things because there's so much marketing out there right now. People just spend, 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 spend because they're told this magical product is going to help them. So I put together a free supplement guide to really teach you on why and how um, you should be taking supplements. And you'll be able to, sorry, I just had a brain fart. You'll be able to sign up for my seven day challenge with the link above or below. Again, when you go to the page, you'll just have to type in your info. Keep an eye out for an email with details to follow. Again, in seven days, all you need is five minutes to start transforming your health, to take your health back into control and really start feeling and seeing results. So I hope you enjoyed this tomorrow. I will be on here as well. So join me and I hope you enjoyed our little workout together and I'll see you soon.